Hi guys, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are well. This is not the easiest word for me to deliver. Um, here's the thing. God gave me this word three times in the last like five days. But the thing about it is, you know, I waited because when I have to confirm, especially because it's a very sensitive word, like when it's really sense, words are really sensitive like this and it's not easy and it's like, geez, God, I don't want to scare anybody. I don't want to bring anyone's mood down or anything like that. I tend to kind of wait, not because of fear, but because I want to make sure that I'm actually saying what's actually going on. I want to make sure that I'm accurate as in like, I'm not leaving anything out or I'm not misinterpreting what he's trying to show me and what he's saying to me. Okay. Um, but he said it the word once and he showed me a vision okay the other two times of the word but I just want to say that this is why it's so important that we really take everything to God and we really ask questions before we accuse people before we judge before we think things about people because sometimes when people are not talking to you or sometimes when people detach themselves from you or they're ignoring you it's not because you did anything wrong or it's not because they're just mean and they're just a horrible person sometimes people are going through a lot and sometimes you know in order for people especially if you're like a good person where you're very honest you're a very honest person and you don't like to lie to people, but you don't want to tell people your business at the same time, sometimes the only way for you to avoid telling people your business is to remove yourself from them, is to stay away from them, because you don't want to be a liar, right? And you already know, like, there's some people out there, like, you can tell them, like, hey, I'm going through a lot, I just need to step away for a bit. And there's people out there who have such big hearts they don't care if you're going through a lot. They want to be there for you. And they're going to be like, tell me what's wrong. Talk to me. And they may even pressure you into opening up to them. So some people, they just tend to avoid people so they don't have to open up and talk about what they're battling, right? And, you know, I understand that's no excuse to ignore people. That's no excuse to ghost people. That's no excuse to leave people on red and all of that stuff. But when nothing is said, to us when we're ignored and I'm saying us because a lot of us have been ignored when nothing is said to us when we're when we're ignored we tend to start to think of different reasonings maybe they're ignoring me because of this maybe they're ignoring me because of that maybe they ghost me because of this maybe they ghost me because of that so we start to think all these things and we try to figure out which one seems more logical right and we have to be careful with doing that because we all do it as human beings right but Think about the times when you were going through something a lot and you just didn't want to talk to anybody. You didn't want to be around people. Th oh, good example. Think about when you're going through warfare, when you're like under attack by warfare and, you know, you don't want to talk to nobody. You don't want to be around nobody. You're not answering calls. You're not answering emails. You're not answering text messages. You just don't want to be, you just want to be, you don't want to be bothered. Right. And you're kind of like not in a bad mood, but it's like, I'm fighting warfare right now. I don't want to be around nobody. Just leave me alone. You just don't want to be bothered. And think about the times where you're in that mood and then people are calling you, people are trying to reach out to you and trying to see you and how irritating it can be. And you feeling like there's no point in me trying to explain to them why I'm not talking to them, why I'm not going out, why I'm not around them, because they're not going to understand what I'm going through. So you don't explain that to them because you don't think they're going to understand, right? So... I have to just say this because it's something that we all can relate to because we've all been through warfare. So we understand why sometimes we detach ourselves when we're going through warfare and how it's hard for us to even explain specific things, especially witchcraft, how it's hard for us to even explain things that we're going through without people looking at us like, like sorry, without people looking at us like we're crazy and you know, this and that and so we just tend not to say anything at all. And this is what's happening in this particular case for someone. There is a person who has ghosted you. They're not talking to you. They have not called you. And the Lord showed me why. 
And you're thinking this person doesn't care about you. This person doesn't love you. This person's horrible. This person's this. This person's that. But the Lord showed me that this person is actually too ashamed to face you. And the reason why they're ashamed to face you is because this person is battling a sickness behind the scenes. And it's a sickness that they have not revealed to people, okay? And because of this, they're having a hard time facing you because if they do face you, they're going to have to tell you what's wrong with them. They're going to have to tell you why they're not feeling well. And they're ashamed. They're too afraid to face you and tell you this, right? So they avoid you. They avoid you. And I know you guys are probably like, why can't they just tell us what's going on or why can't whoever this is for why can't just tell me what's going on etc etc but just like I explained with the example I had to give you guys the example of warfare because we know what it feels like to be going through war and not wanting to talk to people and explain things to people and how we may be judged when we talk about these things so we tend not to say anything I had to use that example because just so we have an idea not the full idea but an idea as to what they're going through right so in this particular case this person just they just don't know how to face you and they're ashamed and there's something they're battling. There's some type of sickness that they're battling and they feel ashamed as if you won't want to be with them because of the sickness they're battling, right? So in your eyes, you're seeing it as they're mean, they're ghost to me, they're not talking to me, they're this, they're that, they're that, but this is what they're actually going through. You know what I mean? And they're ashamed. And this is why we shouldn't judge people. We shouldn't, you know, make accusations about people because you never know people are going through behind the scenes. You see what I'm saying? And the person loves you. But at the same time, you have to understand that when it comes to what we battle in our personal lives, we're not forced to tell people about it. For instance, when I go through attacks, with witchcraft attacks, I don't have to come online and tell you guys. I don't have to tell people. You see what I'm saying? But I do because I do it because it's a part of my testimony and because it's a part of my assignment and it's able it's to help you guys. And God has instructed me to. But if this person, I'm using it as an example, if this person that's going through the sickness is not entitled to tell you or obligated to tell you, you know, don't pressure them to tell you. You see what I'm saying? Pray to God and ask God. It's always important to pray to God and ask God, God, why is this person ghost to me? Why are they not talking to me? Why are they afraid to come forward? And he'll show you. He'll show you, right? So another part of the problem is rejection. It's like, what if they come to you and they tell you, hey, I'm not doing well, you know, health-wise, and you reject them? That's, an, that's something else they have to deal with on top of what they're already dealing with. So these are the types of things that are going through their mind, which is what's making them kind of stay away right but once you have that understanding it's going to be a lot easier to pray to God about it and not only that it's going to be a lot easier to figure out how you're going to handle the situation if they do come forward if God does push them to come forward and talk to you okay so I have a, a scripture here so the scripture I have here is Isaiah 53 verse 5 Okay, but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement for our peace upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. Okay, so pray healing over your loved ones. If this resonates with you, pray healing over the person that you love, the person that has been avoiding you, the person that's been ignoring you, and pray to God. And ask God that if it's according to his will, that they'll come forward and to understand that you're going to be understanding and you're going to listen to them without judgment. Okay? That's if you are open to having this discussion with them. Pray, pray to God to give you the wisdom. The, the wisdom and how to handle and how to speak to the person. How to accept the situation. How to talk about the situation. Pray to God and ask God for wisdom on how to handle it. How to handle it. Pray to God 
that if you are able to handle, you're able to talk to them, pray to God that he will give this person the strength, the courage to come forward and talk to you. Pray to God that he will show this person your heart. He will show this person your understanding. He will show this person your wisdom and that they will be comfortable enough to come forward and speak to you. Pray to God that this person is healed. Pray for this person's healing, okay? So I love you guys. I'll see you later for the other words. Bye.